Hey, this is Ryan Gunn with Aptitude 8, and I'm gonna show you how you can track in-person event attendance through HubSpot. Now, when it comes to tracking in-person event attendance, you basically have two options, and which one you go with depends on what tier of HubSpot you have. So if you have an enterprise tier, you are probably best off going with the app Event Happily. This is a new app from the company Happily. It creates custom object records for events, sessions. It integrates with Zoom. You can track attendees, registrations. You can even do in-person ticketing and check-in. But unfortunately, a lot of people don't have an enterprise tier, so they need another solution. And that's where HubSpot's default marketing events come in. This is a little known object within HubSpot's data schema. They've actually hidden it away. It's hard to find. So first thing I want to show you is how you get there. So if you go to your contacts or really any other index page that has this drop down right here, you can search for marketing events and click there. And that's going to take you here. That is the only way I've found to get here. They don't have a listing in the nav. They don't have really any obvious way to get here except for going to another object's index page. But once you're here, you can create marketing events. It'll bring up a little panel over here. You can actually edit this form. So if you want to add custom properties, say the location of the event, you can create those properties. You can add them to this form so that anybody who's creating a marketing event will be prompted to add that information. I've already got one set up over here, so I'm gonna click into that. And you can see we've got some pretty basic information here. These are all of the properties. Once again, you can create custom properties so you can update this information to show more relevant things. We can also see the number of people who registered, anybody who's canceled, and if the events already happened, who attended the event. So in order to track in-person event attendance, you're going to need to upload a CSV of people who have registered or attended. You can do that by going to Actions and selecting Import Event Contacts. It's going to take you to a pretty standard upload process within a HubSpot. What's cool here, though, is you can select multiple of these. So if you're just uploading a registration list, you just select that. But you can select Attended and Canceled and upload a sheet that has multiple columns in order to show the date and time at which they registered, at which they attended, or at which they canceled. If we hit Next, you're going to be able to select File. I've got some fake contact information in here that we can upload for demo purposes. And then just like importing contacts, it's going to automatically try to map your data into the properties that fit marketing events. The four columns that you're going to need at minimum is going to be the email address. That's going to help you identify who the person is. You could use a different type of data, but it has to be unique to each contact. So it would pretty much have to be email address or record ID. The other properties are date time properties for registered, attended, and canceled. And for these, I've just put in a date, not a time, but you can add time as well. And it will add it into the marketing events at that specific millisecond if you needed to. If you have more data than what's just in these four columns, such as additional contact information, you can map that information to contact properties. So you don't have to do separate uploads to update the contacts and add the marketing event attendance. It can all be done in one single import. And then you're just going to hit next. You're going to agree that you have permission to email them and you're going to finish your import. Now this is a re-import of something I already did, so we're not going to see anything change here, but you can see all this information. If you click in, you can see the contacts that are in each of these groups. And if you go down here to imports, you can see every time an import was made that affected this marketing event. Now, as an object page, I don't find this very useful, mostly because it doesn't provide any sort of reporting outside of this basic overview. So I'm going to show you how you can add marketing events into reports so that you can actually get some useful data out of this. Here is a customer journey analytics report, and I have added into here some stages for registering for and attending a marketing event, as well as two lifecycle stages, opportunity and customer. So basically what this report is telling us is out of the people who registered for this event, I've applied a filter here 
So it's just looking at that one single event, but you could do it to all events, lots of different ways that you can filter the data down here. So who registered, who attended, and then what impact did this event have on driving opportunities and customers? We can see here that 20 people registered for the event, 12 of those attended the event, five became opportunities, four from attendees and one person who did not attend but still became an opportunity. And then lastly, two people became customers. It's also gonna tell you the conversion rates from step to step, the average amount of time it takes to complete that journey. Really a lot of information here that's gonna help you prove that your marketing events are successful. The other place that you can use marketing event information is within workflows. So you can see here, I've got a workflow set up for anybody who is registered for our A8 happy hour event. And once they're enrolled, we're just gonna send them an email. Thanks for registering. You could obviously do much more complex logic here, set up follow-ups for attendees of event, treat people differently, whether they canceled or attended or registered, but did not attend. So this really opens up a lot of possibilities when it comes to your marketing automation around in-person events. The other way that marketing events are really useful is through integrations with webinar platforms. So Zoom webinars, for example, if you integrate that with HubSpot, it's going to create your webinars automatically as marketing events and populate this list. And then you are able to see that information directly in here without having to create something yourself or upload a list of attendees. It's just going to sync it straight in. So that's really convenient. But when it comes to in-person events, this new feature that they added to import event contacts is really the best way to go for anybody that does not have an enterprise tier. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about how to track in-person events in HubSpot, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn.